What's up, YouTube? This is Damon, aka the world's worst magician, and today I'll be bringing you a look at Sleeper by Owen O'Hare. And if you're not familiar with this one, uh, I'll leave a link in the description to where you can check out the trailer. Uh, but essentially, it's a uh, new take on a classic of magic, which is the rising card effect. And uh, I have this, if you're wondering what this deck is here for, uh, this is called Sleeper, and there was a deck of cards released called Sleepers, and even though they have some symbolism in common, uh, they are not related. So I just wanted to call that out, just in case you had that question. Um, so what's in the box? Uh, I don't want to open it because um, they have a link to where uh, you can get the instructions in here, and also, you know, there's uh, an item to repair the gimmick. So what you receive is a link <laughs> like I just said, to um, it's a video where you can watch, um, you know, all the instructions on how to perform the trick, uh, how to repair the gimmick, that sort of thing. Uh, the gimmick is included, and then there's also um, items to repair the gimmick if you need to. Uh, if you're wondering about endurance, they said that you should be able to use this at least a few hundred performances uh, before it breaks, but, you know, that's kind of it's up to the user, right? Like, if you use it like crazy, then, you know, if you're rough on it, you might break it sooner. Anyways, they say it should last that long. So um, what I'm going to do right now, though, is get into uh, a couple of demos just to show you how this thing works. All right, so for this demo, we're going to say that they have selected a card. Uh, the camera is not backwards. That is actually, uh, this is a lefty deck. But um, say they selected the Ace of Hearts. Uh, we could go ahead and put it in here. And then, you know, on command, let me make sure I'm in focus for you here. Uh, you can make that card slowly start to rise out of the deck. And again, it's not backwards. This is a left handed deck. Just to show you that it'll still work with that. All right, so we have the uh, sleeper deck here. And then say we we're uh, trying to find the Ace of Spades or something like that. Uh, we could just give the deck a little bit of a cut. And then say Alakazam, right? Whatever your uh, magic word is going to be. And then you'll see that one card will slowly start to rise out of the deck. And that card is the Ace of Spades. Okay, so... As you saw in the demos, um, you can, so the, the gimmick is made for a red um, rider back bicycle deck uh, like this one, uh, but you can customize it. So just to show you, uh, this is a left-handed deck and I was still able to use it. Now, uh, if you do flash the gimmick, so this is left-handed, if I had flashed uh, the front of the gimmick, it actually would have given it away because it's made for a right-handed um, bicycle back, but uh, or right back. So you know, just be conscious of that. You don't you don't want to flash if you're going to use it. Uh, that's why I did a demo with a sleepers deck just to show you that even though it's bright burning red uh, with the correct handling, you can actually use it with a deck that looks nothing like it, and they won't be able to know the difference. The the only thing is you don't want to put it in the spectator's hands, right? So. Uh, if you're going to use another deck, you can still use it, but, you know, just watch your handling. Um, as far as the gimmick, you don't have to create it, but you may have to repair it. Uh, for the repair, I would put it at a beginner skill level uh, because they walk you through it and uh, it's fairly easy to do. And for performing it, again, I would put that skill level at beginner. Uh, it's very simple to do um, and, you know, make it rise at your command. Um, the negatives, <clears throat> it... Most of them are minor, um, basically. The gimmick can be upside down. So they did uh, put little uh, markings on it to where you can feel if it is or it isn't. But just know that you may have it upside down, you know, if you're moving your deck around or whatever. And if it's upside down, then it will fail 100% of the time. And, well, I'm using fail, but it's not actually failing. It just doesn't work because it's upside down, right? Um, there is a locking mechanism that makes it to where you can uh, casually hold the cards, you can dribble, you can do whatever you want, and then you can make it happen later. Uh, for me, that mechanism is failing, I would say, about 60 to 70% of the time. Um, I'm really having to watch using that thing. So uh, where it's convenient, it's not necessary. So just know that you know you may have similar issues or you may not. Yours may work 100% of the time. But I just figured I'd call it out since mine has been failing. 
Um, and then one thing that I already, you know, kind of covered is that the gimmick is specifically made for a red rider back bicycle deck. Um, so you can't really, uh, I'm not going to say you couldn't customize it to another deck, but um, that gimmick level would be intermediate to expert if you're going to change their gimmick to another deck. Uh, I would just suggest trying to do the handling that I did, where you can, you know, just kind of cover it, use a little bit of misdirection, and then uh, they shouldn't notice <laughs> that, like I said, this is a bright burning red card and I had it in a completely white deck, and you can't see it. Um, so, those things aside, oh, one other negative is... Uh, depending on how you rise the card, and it happened a little in my videos, and you'll even see it in the trailer, the, the card kind of pops up and then to the side. It doesn't always pop straight up. So, uh, I don't know, that may annoy people or whatever. To me, it just makes it look kind of weird um, and look like, you know, like it's not magical because the card's like kind of fallen over. But I just figured I'd point that out. Anyways, for the positives, it's really easy to do. Um, you can have it rise on command so you can throw in, you know, your hand gestures or whatever, um, you know, make it like you did it with your mind, whatever. Um, it can be done in the spectator's hands. I be cautious with that. They show you how to do it. Um, just make sure that I, I didn't like their delivery because they tell them to like slowly release pressure. And I just feel like that's giving it away. I would say something closer to, you know, just. Uh, I want you to relax now, like have them really tense and then tell them to relax and then that'll kind of make the magic happen, but it can happen in their hands. Uh, it is a truly free selection, so they can select any card and they can sign the card if you want them to. Um, as far as angle sensitivity, there really isn't any, um, but when the gimmick is locked, uh, there is a part where you can see it um, you know, kind of underneath. So just make sure that your finger position is correct so that they can't see it. Um, but yeah, there's really no angle sensitivity other than that. Um, now where the gimmick is, the way that it's built, um, it's a little thick. So when it's in the middle of the deck, if they are looking at it, you'll kind of see like a dividing line around the deck. So just make sure you're kind of covering that with your, you know, with your thumb or something like that. Um, the reset is instant. So you can do the trick, hand out that card, then immediately have somebody else pick a card and then. Uh, do it again. And like I said, it's instant. So as soon as you're done, you can just keep doing it as many times as you want until the gimmick breaks. Um, if you're wondering if this is better suited for like walking around or parlor, I would say it's more suited for walking around. Um, in parlor, you can still make this work. Um, but you know, I just feel like it's probably better for you just walking around kind of doing this for crowds. And then for my star rating, I'm going to go three and a half out of five. Um, now, that's not to say that this thing is bad or anything like that, because I know three sounds like it's average. Um, I gave it that half star bump because you can do it in the spectator's hands uh, and because it does have that locking mechanism. But uh, really, since this one's been around forever, I mean, the concept of this has just been around forever. Unless you're doing this for some seriously young people that aren't used to it, you know, it's not going to get that wow factor. But it is still super cool. You can control it. And then one of the cool factors is that uh, if you do it right, the spectator can actually have it happen in their hands. So uh, three and a half is my rating. Um, you may think differently. You may rate this thing 100 stars. I don't know. Uh, but one thing I did want to point out is in this spread, and I know there's a card there that looks all weird, but that's a regular card, I guarantee you. Uh, the gimmick is actually in this spread. And I just wanted to point that out, that I did a spread, put the gimmick in it, and you cannot tell where it is. So, uh, as long as your handling is correct, it's pretty well hidden. But like I said, you will have kind of a dividing line, uh, if you will, once you put it into the middle of the deck. So, just be conscious of that. Watch your, uh, watch your angles, watch your hand positions. And that's everything you need to know about Sleeper by Owen O'Hare. Alright, see ya. Well, I hope you liked that review. And if you have any questions, magic tricks, or decks that you want to see reviewed, go ahead and leave a comment down below, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. As always, I would greatly appreciate it if you would click that like button and subscribe for any future reviews. All right.